Hey guys, what's going on? It is me, Box 12 here, and about 12 hours ago, I made a video known as How to Max a Character, and it was a 28 minute long ramble of just me talking about the ideas and just going to town, talking about stuff. Sometimes I made sense, sometimes I didn't, and I realized that video is way too long, let's make a shorter one. That's exactly what I'm doing here. I'm gonna talk about all of the ideas that I talked about in that 28 minute span in about four or five minutes. I have no idea how long it's actually going to turn out, but let's hope around there. Anyway, without further ado, let it begin. In order to effectively max a character, you need experience. You need time with the game. You have to let it soak in. You gotta let all of the nutrients of this game soak into your body and work their magic. You can't just be like, alright, let's see, how do I get 8-8? I wanna get all the good items, I wanna be the best player of Realm. I'm sorry, is this your third day playing Realm? Yeah, not happening. You gotta figure out all the game mechanics, you gotta figure out all the classes, you gotta figure out what makes them tick, which one you like the best, use that character, get familiar with it, etc. Familiarity. One beautiful word, and I use it a lot, in fact almost too much, but it's a really good word and it describes the situation perfectly. Get familiar with the controls and your character and boom, cinch. Once you've gotten familiar with the controls and your character, next is to move on to actually what you need to do. What should you go- how should you go about maxing a character? The first step I recommend is maxing defense potions. How do you max defense potions? You have three options to get pots. Either one, you can farm godlands. Two, you can do dungeons, or three, you can trade with people. Farming godlands is a very monotonous task, and I don't recommend that you do that if you have a very short attention span. However, if you're the kind of person that gets easily rewarded by, oh hey, I got a pot, three hours later gets another one and he's perfectly fine with that, well then hey, this is the game for you. If not, I recommend farming godlands for dungeons, because dungeons are a lot more, how should I say, stimulative. That's a word, right? Hopefully. And within dungeons comes greater challenge and greater reward. You're guaranteed to get a pot if you're the only one in there. Unless you nexus. Or die. That could always happen. <laughs> the third step is trading with people. You can use the loot and the goods that you get from battle that you don't really want and trade with people to get something more worth your while. Have all these speed potions lying around and you don't want them? Well, trade all four of those for a death and then drink that because that's what you want. Also, occasionally while you're in the realm, it may close and you might go to Oryx. Oryx is a great way to get good items. However, it's a lot more challenging than the average dungeon, so beware if you're 08. You might die. I don't recommend going there if you're new. In fact, I really don't recommend going there if you're new, but if you're unmaxed, just be careful. Don't bring a character that you're really attached to and that you have good gear on and that you've been playing on for a long time, because if you die, I don't want you to lose something that you really do care about. So once you're familiar with the game's controls and the characters, you move on to maxing defense potions. After that, I recommend going with speed, because it helps you avoid projectiles and enemy fire. It also helps you get around, and running around the map doesn't become an immediate chore, because I can run fast, yeah! Vitality is my third best option, because it regenerates your health, meaning that if you take a hit, you can regenerate it quickly. Very good. It might sound like I'm oversimplifying the game, but deep down, it really is simple. All you do is farm. You grind for the sake of grinding in this game. You farm godlands in this game to get potions. Potions that you use to max a character. What do you do once you max that character? You get more potions to max another character, and so forth. You're gonna wanna have two characters to do this cycle. The cycle of farming, as I like to call it. Farm up gods, farm the dungeons that drop from the gods, and afterwards go to oryx, and then trade the items that you don't want to people. That's a four-part cycle, actually. I thought it was only three. God, I'm gonna have to change that now. No, forget it, I'm not doing it. You're gonna want a character that can farm, and a character that is, well, the tank. You can go about this two different ways. Either make the farming character the ranged class, in which he won't get close to enemy fire, so he'll relatively be safe for the most part. Even with Oryx, if you can put on a wizard or a necro and just fire away from a distance, perfect. Or an archer, because he can pierce through enemies, allowing you to get more damage in and get the drops. Know what I'm saying? The second character can either be another ranged character in which you farm up, or it can be a tank. A warrior, paladin, or a knight. Or if a ninja, if you feel like like, that's... that's you. And, well, hey, do it. I don't care. But the tank is somebody that's going to take a while to pot up. The paladin is, in my opinion, the easiest to max, because he has relatively low def. Actually, the warrior has lower def. How did that happen? The paladin has low attack, low dex, low vitality, and low speed, whereas the warrior has high attack, and attack is really hard to come by. The only thing that the paladin has high of is wisdom, and, well, we don't really care too much about wisdom. I mean, yeah, it's good for the paladin, but as far as survival goes, you're gonna want something like defense or speed to keep you fast, to keep the pace moving, and to keep you alive. You always want to have two different characters on you at all times, one to farm and one to do the heavy lifting, like taking on Oryx. And once this happens, more characters will spawn out of this. I swear whenever I say this, the more characters that you have, the less often you will die, because you have diversity. You're not playing on the same character over and over and over. 
I don't really know the science or the logic behind it, all I know is that it works. Always play on two different characters. Don't just play on one character for one week and then one character for another week. Alternate between days. Farm with a character and then pot up that other guy and play with him and... Well, yeah. That's pretty much it, guys. That's that's my guide to maxing in a nutshell, really quickly. If you want to go check out the full video, by all means, go for it, but it is a ramble, so if you get bored or feel like, what is this guy talking about? I wouldn't be surprised, but you've been warned. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, and as always, don't forget to check out the next episode whenever I post it, which will probably be soon. Alright. See ya.